Hey guys, I'm gonna show you my coming out story. Um, my name is Mark Dixon. Um, I first knew I was gay when I was about eight years old at my first experience with my friend Matthew, and basically we did the whole "I'll show me yours if you show me mine" thing behind his garden shed. And at that point, I didn't really know I was gay fully, but I had an inclination, you know, I was basically just exploring, you know, different, I was basically learning about different body parts and, you know, down there and all that kind of thing. Um, but I didn't really no 100% until high school hit basically um definitely when I was 13 or 14 that's when I started having feelings for guys I started um being attracted to guys and I I was actually feeling really guilty about that you know for quite some time it took me until I was 18 to actually come to terms with with actually accepting that I was gay I was kind of in that phase of um, uh, is, this, is this normal um, should I be having these thoughts um, and actually just feeling like I shouldn't be having these thoughts at all um, that it's not normal for me to be having feelings towards guys instead of girls. Um, I actually did have a girlfriend in year eight, but unfortunately it didn't really go very far and well it was fairly pretty obvious why because I didn't really have those sort of feelings. Um, so yeah, it took me quite a while before I actually knew that I actually was gay. I was kind of confused for about about five years. So um, between eight, when I was eighteen and twenty-one, that that was the period of me actually accepting that I was gay and basically trying to figure out. Um, you know when I should tell people and and yeah basically it it took me so long before I was actually ready to tell people um I was writing a lot of stuff down in journals um and yeah it um by the time I was 20 that's when it was reaching like boiling point um and there was um, there was one night where I was chatting to my friend from TAFE, Anthony, and he brought up, um, the fact that he was going to try and get me, um, girls to go on dates with, and I was feeling really uncomfortable and basically saying, no, don't do it, you know, and, you know, basically trying to get out of it. And then I knew at that point that I had to tell him the truth because, you know, I was just going to cover it up. So, so yeah, I basically told him on the internet um, that I was gay. And he was actually the first, very first person I told. That was so hard to do because I wasn't sure how he was going to react. You know, I wasn't, there was no expectation. And... And yeah, he was actually totally fine with it. Um, the next year, I um, actually started my illustration course at Tate, and that's when I was uh, turned 21. Um, and I just thought, this is the year, this is the year to tell people, you know, I'm 21, I'm finally an adult, let's just do it, you know, get it over, done with. Um, and again, it took so long before I just 
convince myself to do it, you know, just get out of the system. Um, so I started telling a few friends at TAFE. Um, one girl was Simone. And she actually helped me, you know, believe and trust that it was okay to be gay, basically. That there was nothing wrong with it. And, and yeah, she actually um, got me onto a friend of hers who was also gay, and basically I wrote in a lot of long emails, just um, getting my feelings out there and just trying to um, deal with a lot of emotions and just basically my coming out process. And, and yeah, after that period, um, I started writing a lot more in my journal about coming out and all these feelings I had towards certain guys and crushes and, and all that kind of stuff. And, and then mum was cleaning up my room one day and I was like getting really agitated and edgy because I really didn't want her to find um, the journal, obviously, and read it. Um, so I just knew, you know, just, it's time to tell her, just, just do it, you know, and I was fucking terrified, to say the least, you know, obviously. Um, so basically I just got her to sit, sit down with, um, her boyfriend at the time, and basically I just told her straight what was going on. And, and yeah, she was okay with it. And it did take her quite a while before she was, you know, she understood that it wasn't just a phase I was going through, but actually I was, I've been attracted to guys for a very long time. And that, you know, I wasn't just gonna, it's not just like an on and off switch, it's not a choice. It is, I was born a homosexual. Um, so that took her quite a while, quite a few years actually, before she was, she accepted that fact. Um, and it was a bit earth shattering for her because I know she wanted to be a grandma. I know she was hoping that I'd have, you know, a girlfriend. I had, um, family members ask me, oh, have you got a girlfriend yet? I also had friends ask me the same question, and it was so it was always like awkward and uncomfortable answering that question because you know I knew I was gay and I just didn't I just couldn't, couldn't tell them at the time I wasn't ready. So yeah, in some ways I do regret not coming out earlier, um, but at the same time I felt like I needed to be ready before I did it. You know, and yeah, it was just very difficult. Um, I suppose if I did come in earlier, I would have, you know, I suppose experimented more, and you know, it would have been a lot easier to, you know, um, just have that support through high school. But it's never that, never wait the never. Um, yeah. So basically, um, it's okay to put your feelings on the line and tell the truth to the people that you love. And it does get better, believe me, it does. Um, after you've actually told a lot of people and you've you know, you you basically don't have to tell everyone, but just to tell you kind of in a sanctum of people, the people that you love the most, the people that you're closest with, they're the people that you you should tell if you feel comfortable to. And it's basically like a massive weight off your shoulders. It's this for me it was a dark secret, you know, it was I was basically just spending so much time covering up and 
and yeah, it was, I was basically not being my true self. Um, at times I do get a little bit uncomfortable about being gay, but for the most part I'm a lot more comfortable with it than I used to be. I'm proud to be gay, you know, I don't see anything wrong with it. I actually, you know, I don't let homophobic people get to me. I basically just shut them out. Um, I don't listen to them. I just just move on, walk away, basically. And that's what you should do. You know, you don't listen to people who put you down for being for being gay. You shouldn't. You know, you shouldn't let them get to you like that because you know it's natural. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Um, yeah, I hope this video has helped, um, people who haven't come out yet, um, and it makes it a lot easier for them to actually come out. Um, yeah, it does get better. Thanks for watching.